This little hiker book belongs to Mandy. There's no such thing as monsters. I've got my own bedroom. I'm so big now, sang Little Bear excitedly. Big Bear was excited too. He had his bedroom all to himself at last. Off to bed, dozy head, chuckled Big Bear. Little Bear snuggled down and tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. Everything felt different. The dark seemed so much darker without Big Bear there. Then as Little Bear peered into the shadows, he saw a monster. A big, scaly monster, all covered in spines, watching and waiting and ready to pounce. Big Bear. Big Bear, cried Little Bear. There's a spiky monster in my room, and it's coming to get me. Big Bear rushed in and turned on the light. But there wasn't a monster, just a floppy old toy on the back of the chair. Big Bear put it on his head and did a silly spiky monster dance. Don't be a scary bear. Shadows can't hurt. Can't hurt you, he said. Little Bear snuggled down and tried to go to sleep. But it was just too quiet without Big Bear there. He tried hum humming a little song to keep the quiet out. Then he thought, what if there's something under my bed? Something that's keeping very still. Shh. He wiggled nervously over to the edge, peeked, and peeked underneath and saw... A monster's tail. Big bear, big bear, squealed little bear. There's a slim, slimy monster under my bed and it's going to eat me. Big bear rushed in and divided under, and dived under the bed. But there wasn't a monster, just a sticky old sock. Big bear put his head in the sock and made sticky sock monster noises. Then he bundled Little Bear back into bed. Night, night, don't let the bed socks bite, chuckled Big Bear. Little Bear snuggled down and tried to go to sleep, but he felt lost in the middle of his big new bed. It was just too lonely without Big Bear there. Little Bear's lips start to wobble and he just couldn't. He just about to cry. Just about to cry when he heard footsteps coming closer. Tip tap, tip tap. Door slowly opened. It was Big Bear. There's no need to be frightened, Little Bear, he said. But I don't like being all on my own, sniffed Little Bear. Don't worry, said Big Bear. I've but brought old Huppity to keep you company. He tucked his favorite tat tattered toy into bed with Little Bear. Now you won't feel so scared, he said. Silly Little Bear chuckled. Big Bear, as he went back to bed, frightened of, of monsters. Big Bear snuggled down in his bed and tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. His bedroom seemed so empty without Little Bear there. Big Bear lay in the dark, humming a little song to keep the quiet out. Just then he heard a noise, a growly, snuffing noise. It was coming from the Little Bear's bedroom. Snuffle, snort. Oh no, thought Big Bear, maybe there really is a sticky sock 
monster under the bed, and it wants a little bear for its supper. Big Bear raced down the hallway as the noises got louder and louder. Snuffle, surf, snuffle, snort, snort. I'll save you, little bear, he cried, pushing open the door. But there wasn't a sticky sock. Monster. Just a small bear, snoring loudly in the growly, snuffy way that little bears do. And that's the end of the story.